What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and I am so excited to show you the brand new Mac Mini uh, with the Apple M4 chip. So this is the 16 gig unified memory with 256 gig as the hard drive in terms of storage space. And this form factor is very different than what I'm used to. So it's gonna be exciting to check this out. And the really cool thing is, is this video is brought to you by Oracle. Oracle actually sent us this mini dock desktop stand and it's made specifically for the brand new Mac Mini M4. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Mac 4 and see what it looks like in here. Then in future videos, let me know what kind of benchmarks and such you'd like me to do on the M4. I also have an M2, so we can do direct comparisons as well. So on the back here, we have a very simple opening system. All you do is you rip these off, and I wouldn't even say rip, they're more of um, an adhesive here that just kind of slides off. It's really nice and uh, satisfying to do that. And we're just gonna lift the top here. And wow, Apple loves their presentation, don't they? Look at that. So front and center already sticking out of the box when you open it is the uh, Mac Mini M4. So let's go ahead and open this. Let's go ahead and take this plastic off here and check out this form factor. This is so tiny. Uh, let me go grab my other Mac. So when you compare these sizes, that is astonishing. This is such a smaller form factor. Now it is slightly taller, but because it's gonna take up less desk space, I think that is a very small price to pay for having not only something so much more powerful, but something so much smaller than the original form factor. This feels like a TV box, like an Apple TV, as opposed to a computer that probably rivals my desktop, right? So let's set this one aside and let's continue through the unboxing. We have our power cable here. And am I right to believe that there is no power brick here? Even my laptop has a massive power brick. I love that Mac minis are so efficient. So a braided power cable, I actually haven't seen that. Even the M2 Mac is a still a rubber plasticky uh, power cable, but uh, this one is actually a fabric power cable, which is kind of nice. In the back here, we have three Thunderbolt ports, an HDMI port and, oop, whoa, and a uh, ethernet port here. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like inside of the Oracle dock. All right, so they had that, uh, little piece here i didn't realize it but they actually have the manual um inside of this little circle pad here i guess that's for the bottom it makes it uh, kind of match the aesthetic i guess that's cool and we'll go ahead and pull these out if the writing is like in a square and it's in a circle maybe it's not that uh user friendly but it's pretty cool it's unique it's different and that's what apple's always trying to be so now let's see what it's going to look like with the Oracle dock. I'm excited to check this out because um, I already have a dock for my M2 Mac and this is going to help me get all of my stuff connected and working on the M4. So we have a, actually I'm going to open this up. This is a nice little braided mini cable. I hate when you get a dock and they give you like a 20 foot like USB cable as if it's not going to be sitting right next to the thing that's docked in it, right? So this is actually a really nice looks like 10 gigabit per second uh, Cable and if we open the dock man, see this is so small that I was actually expecting this to be way bigger from the photos But this is actually a really nice form factor. We have the PD 100 watt charger PC in we have the uh, Thunderbolt at five gigabits per second, HDMI, uh, Ethernet, a 10 gigabit per second uh, USB-C port or Thunderbolt port, a 10 gigabit per second USB-A port, a five gigabit per second USB-A port, a TF card and an SD card slot. Quite the roster, but they are not done yet. If you grab this little screwdriver that they include and open up the back here, they are giving you an M2 drive slot right on the bottom so it's an m2 enclosure and dock all in one that means that you can grab one of these like a two terabyte this is the 990 pro by samsung you can grab one of these and immediately increase your m4 max capacity and you won't even realize or notice it's there because it's right on the bottom of this dock nice and hidden while still getting all of the pci express lanes it needs to get that full speed access 
Finally, they also give us some cooling solution to put between the solid state drive and some extra uh, screws here to lock that in. And if we get the actual Mac itself, look at that. Easy as that, you have a Mac dock. You could change the orientation however you like. So you might wanna put it like this with the logo up or to keep the wires out on the side, you can have it like this. But overall, look at how nice that looks. That is just a great looking dock. And it has pretty much everything you would need in a dock in a very, very small form factor. And when I say small, I mean very small form factor. If I compare this to the M2 Mac, it's actually in a smaller form factor with the dock itself right there. So very cool stuff from Orco. Obviously very cool stuff from Apple. And of course, very cool stuff from Samsung as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and hope you have a good one. Peace.